guys, back after that reboot, um, I need to uh, go ahead and do an update. It was just prompting me to. It's already catching stuff right now. Uh, I'm just going to let it go and do whatever it's doing. Um, I hope it doesn't make me reboot again after this update. That would suck. But I hate reboots for, for reviews. They're so annoying. Uh, um, so tons of stuff it's already blocking. Uh, looks like it's removing. I can't tell there. Yeah, it's removing a lot of stuff. And uh, I don't need to do a scan right now. I just need to do an update. It's very chatty. I'll tell you that. It's giving me tons of pop-ups here. And I'm limited to 800 by 600, so i got to move my windows around like crazy. Okay, guys. So, finally doing an update here. I need to close some of these stupid rogue windows. I think this is going to be a long review, unfortunately, because there's just too much going on here. Rogue software remains only because I haven't turned on Riskware. Uh, and once I can turn that on, maybe I can do that now while this update's going. Just so I can make these things go away. I'm going to go ahead and click the settings button. Of course, I've never seen CAV 2009, so you'll have to bear with me. I mean, I, I haven't seen any of these menus yet. So there may be times where I'm a little quiet while I'm reading some stuff. What I basically did there is I turned on um, the heuristic analysis, heuretics, I don't even know how you say that. Uh, I turned on scan archives as well. mess with the operating system kernel modification. I suppose that's talking about rootkit stuff and I don't know enough about that yet for what it's going to do to this virtual machine. Yeah, it's, it's removing a lot of junk right now. that other program. So I'm hoping this right here will go ahead and get rid of the rogue stuff. It better. I'll be really pissed at Cav if they don't do that. Okay, not not too many different settings. I'm sure, I mean, I know Kaspersky, with Kaspersky Antivirus, you can really, really, you know, check a lot of additional stuff. Um, unfortunately, it's doing some stupid scan right now. I know, you know, they're doing that for people who don't know what the hell they're doing, and they're doing an initial scan at boot up, but I just don't need that right now. So this is the scan. I'm hoping I can just cancel it. Notice the cancel button looks grayed out. So that figures. No. Oh, my network card was turned off. Sorry.
So hopefully my uh, update will go off now. The uh, scan. I can't cancel the scan for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not too worried about it. It's just doing a quick scan. Um, when I test all my uh, programs, I do full scans just to give everyone a fair shot. Um, so after this, I'll do a full scan. Just so everybody doesn't say, you didn't do a full scan. Tons of stuff here. These pop-ups you're seeing right here are a result of a um, of a Trojan that's been injected in one of the um, SVC host DLLs, and it removed it. So now SVC host is trying to reference it. It's not there. So, gosh, I wish I could have at least done an update. I hate to split this video up into too many pieces, but it looks like I'm going to have to. I need to start paying attention to the time in which I start these these videos. Um, it's trying to do an update. I mean, I saw it actually connecting down here. That's the little cab update symbol. I wonder if I could stop it and then start it again. For for an inactive uh, for uh, old obsolete database it is sure catching a lot of shit. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do a do an update um, do an update offline, and then when I come back to the video, CAV will be updated, and uh, we'll do a full scan. Um, so. Sorry about so many parts, but uh, new program, I haven't worked with it. It's just the way it goes.